Hi everyone, I'm Dan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cinchi. Cinchi is a play on the word cinch, which means simple. Our platform uniquely eliminates the need for integration, and I'm really excited to show it to you today. Excellent. So Dan, I know Cinchi deals with data fabric, which is a kind of new concept. Um, there's a lot of hype around it, but also a lot of confusion. Can you start by explaining what exactly is a data fabric? Absolutely. Even better, I'll show you. Uh, so I'm actually logged into our own environment. Uh, we use Cinchi at the company Cinchi to run the company Cinchi. Uh, and we've been doing that right from the beginning. Uh, we were our first uh, customer. Uh, but what you're actually seeing is the result of us using the technology uh, to build what otherwise would have been bespoke disconnected applications in a better, faster, cheaper way, where the result of applying that approach is I have a connected fabric of all of our company's knowledge at not only my disposal, but at the disposal of every employee in the company. The only difference is what access individual employees have. Uh, as the CEO, of course, I have a, a certain level of access, uh, but everyone's view of the fabric is going to be different. Uh, but the way to think of it is what you're seeing is our company's brain. This is all of our knowledge. And if I zoom in, uh, you're seeing the individual uh, neurons, the nodes here, these are actually data sets. Uh, that's, uh, for example, there's employees, there's uh, time periods, there's uh, OKRs, goals. Uh, we have uh, everything, investors, customers, invoices, uh, any piece of data. It's all available uh, at our fingertips. Uh, I can search for any particular piece of data. Maybe I want to look for uh, invoice details. I can locate it. Uh, think of what you're seeing is like Google Maps, but it's the satellite view for all of your data uh, that is always live and it's always real time. Uh, but I can see here's the invoice details. I can see the invoice details are connected to an invoice and, and, a, uh, and invoice is then connected to a customer order form. Uh, and not only is this a way of navigating and finding and discovering my data, but I can even zoom in and kind of go down to the street view, just like in Google Maps. But now I'm the street view of data. I'm actually looking at my information. Uh, and I can seamlessly navigate in the same way that I did through the other experience. I can go from an invoice detail to an actual invoice, and from an invoice to an order form, and from an order form to a customer, and so on and so forth. Uh, and not only can I see the, all this information, I can change it. I can basically run my entire business by creating experiences in a connected way. Okay, so now we've talked about this before, but to make sure I understand it, you know, data fabric is essentially a new way to build enterprise applications that are actually fully decoupled from the data itself, where the data is managed as a connected network where integration is obsolete. Is that right? Uh, that's exactly correct, yes. Okay, cool. So then, you know, today I know that organizations are spending half their IT budget on integration. So if this is true, this is actually a really compelling value proposition. Absolutely. And while the elimination of integration is exciting, it's essentially doubling your IT capacity. Uh, the real magic is how it enables the evolution of the schema at true scale across the enterprise, uh, which is really what we see as unblocking enterprise intelligence. It's kind of like the difference between a newborn child and a fully mature adult, uh, where the brain has evolved by reorganizing itself as you acquire new information. That's ultimately what uh, Cinchi is enabling at an enterprise scale. Okay, so I don't want to spend a ton of time here because I know it's, there's some really cool stuff coming, but let's pause really quickly. You know, how is a data fabric different from a data lake or a data virtualization? Yeah, great question. Uh, data lakes and data virtualizations tend to serve analytical use cases because they're largely centered around providing consolidated access to what otherwise would be fragmented data, uh, whereas a data fabric is more to serve for operational use cases. So you may have noticed as I was navigating through, uh, it's not a read-only view, it is fully editable. Data can be actually created on the fabric and it's what we call autonomous data. Uh, so if I were to say, open up a lead, I can make changes, I can manage it, all the auditability, all the traceability, I can perform transactions, I can do all of that on the fabric. It's essentially a common data layer that replaces the need for app-specific databases, uh, which ultimately accelerates the development of applications. Okay, cool. So data lakes and data virtualization assist with more analytical use cases, but the data fabric is designed more for operational use cases. So basically, where I would have otherwise had to build and integrate an application. Exactly. Yep. Okay, so can you show us some examples of how a data fabric helps to simplify and accelerate IT delivery? Uh, sure, I'm going to show you a really quick example of something that's really just not possible with conventional technology. Uh, so I'm back in the platform. Uh, I'm going to create. Uh, I'm going to create a query. So I'm essentially going to ask a question of my data on the fabric. Uh, so what you're seeing is the built-in query builder that anyone who has builder level access is able to interact with. 
Uh, and let's go back to look for that same uh, data set. So we're going to the details of an invoice. Uh, so I'm just going to drag and drop. I'm going to grab a couple of fields. Let's say I want the product and service and the uh, total charges. Uh, I'm just going to drag that up there. And this is a fabric after all. So I'm going to pull in some connected data. So I'm going to go from the invoice details uh, down to the invoice and from the invoice to the order form and from the order form to the customer. And from the customer, I can go down to the actual uh, company um, and uh, pull in uh, any any particular contact uh, data. Let's go to the, uh, the contact, uh, the company. Uh, let's go to the salesperson. Uh, and I'm going to pull in that uh, salesperson's uh, personality uh, just as an example. Uh, so you can see we're multi-level deep here. Uh, this is data that would otherwise be fragmented across siloed systems. Uh, and it's all seamlessly connected where each of those systems is connected not to each other, but indirectly through the fabric. It's essentially that network approach. Uh, so let me grab the personality. I can play that query, get the results back instantly. I can save this. And I can choose a default API format, uh, save it. Uh, not only can I save this query and rerun it anytime I want and always get the live real-time answer, I can share it with other people, I can share it with systems. Not only is this query an actual result, uh, but uh, it's also uh, a report. I can now start to do some aggregation. Maybe I want to do a... Uh, a sum of the total charges by the product or service. And uh, maybe I want to sort it this way and that way and, and turn that into a chart. And uh, let me slice that by personality. And let me just filter that for a particular uh, product. And uh, so I'm essentially just uh, navigating through the data seamlessly. And this is, again, data that is uh, across order management systems, uh, invoicing systems, uh, HR systems. Uh, and not only is this a query and a report, but it's also an API. Uh, so here's the actual very same data set coming back as a REST endpoint. This is a fully standardized API that would typically take tens of thousands of dollars of development, but I just built it in minutes. And I can do that even as a, a non-technical builder. Uh, so this is just an example of the kind of acceleration you should expect when building solutions on a data fabric. Cool. So uh, another question came to mind, who are your customers today and how are they using it? Yeah, so our, our customers, uh, we've been in the market for about uh, just under two years. Uh, we have some of the biggest banks in the world as customers, so organizations like uh, RBC and TD and uh, many other big banks, asset managers, wealth managers, uh, and they're all using it uh, as a way of accelerating the delivery of new business capabilities uh, across business lines, across use cases, uh, customer-facing experiences, employee-facing experiences. Uh, and in the short amount of time that we've been in markets, we haven't had uh, any churn and every one of our customers is expanding their use across an endless number of use cases. And that's really the power of the platform is it can be used to accelerate the projects that you're already planning. That's great. And with so many big logos on there, big companies that you're working with, it's really impressive considering you've been in the market for such a short time. I know how difficult it can be and how long some of these uh, sales cycles can go. So I, I'm imagining right. you're very proud of that. Absolutely. And the thing I'm most proud about personally is the fact that we don't have churn and uh, we're seeing kind of rapid expansion within our customers. So we have some pretty strong advocacy because on the surface, everything sounds too good to be true, but uh, we have a track record of, of really proving that and, and delivering uh, an immense amount of value in a short amount of time. So last question for, for me is with everything going on right now, why is this important? Why is this a priority for people watching here today? Yeah, uh, so the there's a couple of reasons. The the first is if you look at how the world has changed with COVID and the need to really digitize everything, there's a whole lot of uh, sudden need to accelerate uh, digital transformation. Uh, so the, uh, what that translates to is you're building a lot of new technology and the, the faster you can build that, uh, the better off you are. Uh, not to mention the fact that, uh, you know, revenue pressures, economic conditions uh, are, are requiring people to, uh, you know, um, uh, reduce their costs and become more efficient. And uh, there's quite frankly, no better way to become efficient if you're able to eliminate integration and double your IT capacity uh, and truly become an intelligent organization by enabling uh, the evolution of your organization's data model uh, through the acceleration of, of your projects. Excellent. So I guess we'll wrap up with just a, a last question. I mean, Data Fabric, is, we're talking about some complex stuff here. Where can people go if they want to learn more about Data Fabric and your technology? You can visit us at uh, cinchi.com. Uh, and I also recommend signing up for a, a new learning series that we've launched just this week. Uh, we're going to be holding weekly sessions. You can sign up on our website. Uh, Data Fabric is absolutely a new concept. There's lots to learn, uh, lots of best practices to share. Uh, and uh, we're excited to, um, uh, to really help uh, clarify that and, uh, and uh, enable the accelerated uh, delivery of value to our current customers and future customers. Excellent. Thanks so much. Thank you.